Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you are new to the channel, I'm Jaktar Singh and I'm studying Aerospace Manufacturing Engineering here at Centennial College. So since the day I have started my YouTube channel, the number one question that I'm being asked is, Jaktar, how can, how can we just get enrolled into aerospace programs or what are the good aerospace programs in Canada? So how they can start doing that? So in this video, we're going to talk about how to choose a good college, which is a good college, in which program you should enroll yourself into, specifically of aerospace industry. So let's see. So if you are even thinking of coming to Canada and starting your career here, it is very important to first of all choose the province because as you know Canada is very big and it does have many of the provinces so it's really very important to choose wisely in which province you want to come so I just want to uh, draw your attention towards government of Canada's official website so if you will just go to aerospace industry report and I'll just scroll up and this graph specifically it's figure four a uh, figure five graph and it this graph actually shows us okay what is the scope of aerospace manufacturing and mro industry in canada like they are literally saying what provinces have a good employment share because we want to look out about job opportunities in province wise so if okay so first of all what is mro mro stands for maintenance repair and overhaul this is very common term we people use in the industry so if you will see okay quebec is the province which have 62 percent of the manufacturing job and then ontario is the second one and then western canada then atlantic and if you will look on uh, right hand side mro again 22 percent of the maintenance and repair overhaul jobs are in quebec 34 percent in ontario 39 percent in western canada so now you actually have an idea okay for example quebec quebec has good manufacturing jobs 62 percent of the manufacturing jobs are in quebec right and in ontario it's 22 percent so okay you can narrow down the list okay your target is quebec and ontario just just pick these two provinces and now let's explore uh, the colleges what colleges are offering any of the aerospace engineering or aerospace diplomas in specifically manufacturing or mro side so for exploring the colleges and universities i am going to go to my favorite software which is nowadays it's chat gpt because let's get some help of ai to make our career right so i'm just going to write hey just tell me what are the good colleges and universities offering aerospace diplomas or degrees in Ontario and Quebec with their programs okay okay let's go for give me 20 examples yes let's see now you see like it's giving you everything what are the colleges and universities which are offering aerospace diplomas or degrees as we have given the prompt okay so let's say it's U of T, Ryerson, Centennial College, Fanshawe, Georgian, Mohawk, Seneca okay so it has given us 10 colleges and universities in Ontario and now it is giving us 10 colleges and universities in, in Quebec right oh my goodness it's a lot of universities though I really hope ChatGPT could have at my time when I was just narrowed down the colleges because it would have been so much help to me. Okay, now, now we can see it's like universities and colleges. Hmm, Georgian. Now we have the list of colleges and universities which offer aerospace diplomas and degrees. Now it's time to like if you are thinking to get into aerospace industry or you have watched some of my previous videos you know aerospace industry is a very big industry for example it's it consists of design manufacturing navigation systems radars then avionics propulsions and many more phases so that is the reason now it depends on your interest in which field you want to go into for example i love the designing and manufacturing point so it entirely depends on where you want to go for example now we have this thing now we are going to give it a next prompt okay okay tell me what courses they teach in these 
20 examples now see they are listing all the courses which are which they teach for example okay let's take centennial college because i can literally validate what it is saying it's your capture materials and processes aerospace manufacturing principles computer aided cad and manufacturing here yeah it's almost right now see you have a whole list of what the colleges are provided what they are teaching in those programs and the point which we have to take here is fees right that plays a very important role okay so okay we are going to give it an next prompt tell me how what is the tuition for these programs okay let's see what it called tuition uh, can very minimally here is rough estimate okay nice so now you see you have the rough estimate of the fees as well so now you can uh, depending on your budget and what is your capacity for your tuition and that is how you can choose a good university and now obviously if you will give it more prompts like for example for example you choose let's say centennial college because i am studying in that so for example if you will choose a centennial college and give it a prompt give me admission criteria for centennial college for aerospace manufacturing engineering technician it will literally give out the, okay what are the admission requirements for you so you can then choose what you have what you do not have if you are eligible for offering or for or applying the offer letter into that college and universities go for it it's really very simple and thanks to chat GPT again so for making our work easier now very important question that you need to ask is what to choose diplomas or degrees that entirely depends on how, what is your financial budget for example when i came here i know degrees are going to cost me more in universities and moreover if i'm going to universities there are less chances that i can work outside of campus so that is the reason I chose diploma because I want to earn money and learn side by side. So that was one of my reasons. So it entirely depends on you if you have budget to afford degrees, go for it. Obviously, not, no diplomas can replace the university degrees. But if you have lesser budget, you just want to continue, you just want to enter into aerospace industry here in Canada, just get any of the good diplomas from good colleges and the fees are really less and quite affordable so choose wisely and then apply for the offer letter so now you know how to choose a province how to choose a good college based on fees and your interest so this is actually the right way so if you have any of your siblings or cousins they are not into aerospace so they can choose the same prompt same method to find out the way to choose a good career and good options for them to study here in Canada. So that's it about today's video. Hope you have liked this video because I really wanted to make this video because I know how value addition it's going to be. So if you have liked it, press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon in the next video. Bye. Take care.